good everybody, my name is Adam and welcome back to another episode of Notion Bonsai. Now today I want to talk about this apple tree. So I have had this apple tree for the past one year now, but this apple tree actually has a long history and has a lot of sentimental value to me. So this tree has actually been grown from a seed. My granny planted this tree way back when my dad was born. My dad's now 53, so this tree is approximately 53 years old and that is how tall it is. So each year it was growing in this giant pot that was in my granny's garden for so many years. And my granny kept it in this pot for so many years and each year she would cut the tree back because it would get too tall for the garden. And last year I took this tree from this big pot, reduced the roots down to a pot this size. And today we're gonna give this tree another repot just to get into some good soil because the soil that's in now is very moist and I'm afraid it will rot the roots of the tree. I was out of bonsai soil at the time and all I had was some compost and I put this tree into compost just to help it survive because it was extremely pot bound in that last pot. The buds are just about to open. Now is the right time to repot apple trees. Let's get this thing out of the pot. We're gonna do this very delicately, just like this. And we're gonna grab the bottom of the tree and just pull, okay. I'm just gonna loosen up the soil. There's some moss growing up the trunk here too. If there's ever moss growing up the trunk of your bonsai, you wanna get it off as soon as you can because moss can actually provide too much moisture around this area and it will rot the actual wood of the tree. You can get the moss off by taking a toothbrush and just brushing away any of the moss around the root base here. So I'm gonna sit the tree at an angle now. I'm gonna go at it with a chopstick here now because I feel like the chopstick is a little bit more precise. It doesn't tear the roots as much as a rake. I feel like it'll be boring just you guys watching me cut out and dig away all the soil. If you want to see that, and you want to see me leave it in the videos, let me know in the comments. But for now, I feel like it's really boring, so I'm gonna cut forward. All right, so I feel like it's now about time to give these roots a good wash, get all the old soil off of them. So I'm just raking them over the water here to loosen up any of the soil because the water loosens up the soil a little bit for you. And then every time you dip it in, a little bit more falls off. And just in a second, I'm gonna sort of pressure wash these with the hose. Not a pressure washer because that can damage the roots too much. And we've got a long taproot going on under here. Might need to remove that soon. All right, everybody, so now that the roots have been washed, I can see a lot more of what's going on. It can be risky sometimes, bare root in a tree, but I like to see exactly what's going on with the roots so that I can develop them in the way that I want them to be developed. I can already see there's some thick roots growing in places I don't want them to be growing. There's a huge stump tap root in the bottom of here. So I'm just gonna get these concave cutters, chomping off some pieces of this. So like this big thick one, it's never gonna be used. So see on the end of this, these are called feeder roots, the little thin roots. They would feed the tree and give the tree water. The thick roots don't really do much for the tree except for it provides stability whenever it's in the ground, but in bonsai, we don't really need stability. So I'm just gonna continue to cut off some thick roots that I think the tree doesn't need. Whew, the bottom of this is really, you can really tell that underneath this, you hear that? I'm gonna just keep chomping away at this to see how far we can get up the, the underside. It's just so much going on. Look at this big thick root here. See that? This root here is a rotten root that I found inside here, which means the soil it was in was not good for the tree at all. There's another rotten root here. That's just dead, look at that. It's just the thickness of the trunk goes the whole way down to there. And I kind of want it to be like here with the roots flopping over it. That way I can get it in a shallower pot. Okay, I'm going for a huge cut here. Here goes. <sighs> Whoa, what was that? A gigantic root mass. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take a saw to the bottom piece. And after I take this piece off with the saw, I'm gonna leave it at that because you don't wanna to do too much work in one go. I wanna try and make this tree maybe a five year or 10 year project before it start of starts to look like a bonsai. I'm 
So I'm making sure whenever I saw through this, I'm holding all the upper roots out of the way so that I ensure that I don't saw through any of the roots I want to keep. Ah, we're getting somewhere now, I can feel it. Ah, yeah, look at that. Okay, I just want to come away from this portion of the video right now just to sort of explain that the saw I was using at that time was the only saw that I had. And I wouldn't recommend a cheap saw like this to do cutting on your trees, although it got the job done. If you can, get a Japanese bonsai saw like this one and it will do a much better job of cutting cleaner. This is a new saw I got recently that I'll be using in the future. Anyways, back to the video. So everything is nice and clean. The roots are here and you can actually see the underside now, what's going on. That's gonna be nice and flat against the bottom of the pot. So I'm gonna just fan these roots out as if they're in the pot, rake them out with my root rake so that there's no tangles. I know it seems like a lot, but all the roots that I'm gonna cut off now are gonna be thick. This one, that's not needed. You can obviously see here that one side of this tree is heavier than the other. There's less roots on this side of it. So whenever I plant this, I wanna make sure that I give this side a good trim and sort of balance it out. There's a big thick root here and it's got quite a lot of fibrous roots on it. So I'm gonna leave some of it. I don't really wanna remove any more because there's quite a lot of trunk for this to feed. I'm gonna leave it at that for today and pot it up. So I want this tree to develop quick, fast root growth. And to do that, I'm gonna be planting it into the small pond basket. That way the roots will get lots of oxygen in the sides. Pond baskets are actually really cheap and great for developing bonsai and giving them fast root development. The soil type that I wanna use is a mix of Akadama, pumice, lava rock, and sphagnum moss. And the sphagnum moss also promotes fibrous roots that feed the tree. And it grows in really quickly. Gonna feed this up through the sides of the pot. If it was a younger tree and it was a lot thinner, I would use a lot smaller and thinner gauge of wire. But for this, I'm using about three millimeter to wire it in. Okay, so I'm happy with the pot. Scoop in some of the soil mix. Here I've got some sphagnum moss, which I'll sprinkle all around the inside of the pot. That's gonna go in here, nice and flat. You also wanna plant the tree nice and straight. So when it's in the pot, always consider the angle. Here I've twisted the wire around this part of the tree and now, the wire here is just barely reaching, but it will work. You just gotta take this now and twist it with the gin pliers. And that will hold. And then just around the roots, sprinkle more sphagnum moss. Now we're just gonna go in with some soil. I don't wanna have this 100% stones. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of compost. You have to sort of take into consideration the trees care as well. What does the tree like? And fruit trees, especially apples, love loamy soil types. Just gonna work that in. And there we have it. That is the apple tree repotted in the pot. My plan now is to keep this tree in this pot for the next one to two years before it will need another repot, just to let it get healthy again. That's the main goal right now. And in the future, I plan to air layer a portion of this tree, but I'm not sure yet. With bonsai, you sort of want a, a nice taper, but I don't know yet. All I'm really worried about now is a successful repot. Let's give it a water. The one thing you're looking for whenever you water a newly repotted tree is good drainage. So whenever you lift the pot, you just want it to run out freely like that. That's perfect. So it's been a few weeks now and the apple tree has just come into leaf. It's starting to grow lots of newer branches on the trunk of the tree and it's also got some serious back button at the base of the tree, which is quite common with apples. So sometimes it's good to try and stay on top of that and don't let them grow out of control. I can confidently say that this was the successful repot of the apple tree. I'm gonna to continue to develop this specific tree on this channel and I'll probably put together a series where you can watch them sequentially as they come out. So if you wanna keep up to date with that and all the other videos on my channel, consider subscribing down below and hitting the bell right beside it to get updates from whenever I upload a video. And that's the end of this video. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.